Good morning. I would like to welcome viewers to our time of worship for the parish of Avon Valley on this, the third Sunday of Easter, the 23rd of April, 2023. Lord Jesus, open to us the scriptures. Make our hearts burn within us while you speak. And let us pray. O oh God, your Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread. Open the eyes of our faith that we may see him in his redeeming work, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This morning's Gospel lesson is taken from the 24th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke beginning at the 13th verse. Now on that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, what are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us, they were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! And how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets had have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while, while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. Here ends the reading of this morning's Gospel. The risen Lord meets us on the road. Sometimes our hearts burn within us when the scriptures are open to us. Yet, we can be blind to his presence. 
Even his closest friends, some of his disciples, didn't recognize him while ambulating along. Our minds can be distracted by many things. Our assumptions and expectations can cloud what we see. But Christ is always there. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. The resurrected Jesus will later say, It is when we gather to break bread together that our eyes are open to who he really is. The risen Lord meets us on the road. Sometimes he is met by an enemy. Saul was on the road to persecute the church. He saw the light. His eyes were opened. Then, as a witness to the risen Lord, Saul, now Paul, became the great communicator of the gospel. Consequences flow from our recognizing the risen Lord on the way. Whatever road we are on, to Emmaus, to Damascus, in the Avon Valley, along the highways and byways of life, in the city, in the country, wherever we go, we encounter Christ. We meet him in our neighbors and our friends, in the poor and in the rich, and even in our enemies. How we treat the best and the least of these is how we treat him. Mother Teresa once said, it's not always easy to love those close to us. It is easier to give a cup of rice to relieve hunger than to relieve the loneliness and pain of someone unloved in our own home. Bring love into your home, for this is where our love for each other must start. We serve a God of love. We are fellow heirs and children with Christ of the God of love. Whenever we walk with someone in love, we walk with Christ. Amen. Today is the 23rd of April, and for those of you from English descent, you will know that this is the, the day of the patron saint of England, St. George's Day. And one of our parish churches is named St. George's Church. So at this time I'm going to have a prayer to commemorate the day. Almighty God, who called your holy martyr George to bear before the rulers of this world the banner of the cross, grant that we may be strong in every battle against sin and attain to the crown of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single peace. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wraths and sorrows, and give peace to your church, peace among nations, peace in our homes, and peace in our hearts. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And gathering all our prayers together, let us pray as Christ himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the Christ who walks on wounded feet walk with you on the road. May the Christ who serves with wounded hands stretch out your hands to serve. May the Christ who loves with a wounded heart open your hearts to love. And may you see the face of Christ in everyone you meet. And may everyone you meet see the face of Christ in you. Amen. Oh,